Well, this is going to be a quick video to show you how to pull SWE off of Coinbase and send it to Phantom Wallet. So we're going to start by logging into our wallet. Once logged in, if I hover over my username, you'll see that Phantom is a multi-chain Web3 wallet that supports Solana, Ethereum, Base, SWE, Polygon, and Bitcoin. So it's going to be really important that you select the right network receive address when you send SWE from Coinbase to Phantom. I'll show you that in a second. So if we scroll down, you can see I have SWE enabled right here. SWE was recently added to Phantom Wallet. So if you don't see it, you might need to manually turn it on. You can do that by clicking up here and then going to settings and go to active networks and then SWE beta. Make sure you have that toggled on. So once you have SWE enabled, in Phantom Wallet, we're ready to go ahead and receive it from Coinbase. To do that, we need to copy our SWE receive address. There's two ways you can do that. You can hover over your username up here. You can go to SWE and copy it this way, or you can click on SWE, and this is what I recommend. Click on SWE, then click on receive. Receive SWE. This is our SWE receive address. I'm going to go ahead and copy this, and I'm going to go back to my Coinbase account. I have some SWE in here, so I'm going to send some of it to Phantom Wallet. To do that, I'm going to click on send crypto. Here in the send crypto to field, I'm going to go ahead and paste my Phantom Wallet SWE receive address. Enter the amount. I always recommend the first time you do this, just start with a small amount. So in this case, I'm going to just say two SWE. I'm going to click on preview. So I'm sending two SWE to this address, which is my Phantom Wallet receive address. Always a good idea just to double check again before you do it. Once again, let's open Phantom Wallet. Let's go to SWE. Let's click on receive. This one ends in 3F86. Just verify that. 3F86. So I know I have the right address. Send time is going to be about 22 seconds. I'm going to click send now. It's going to ask me to verify it via my Coinbase app. If you don't have the Coinbase app installed on your phone, it'll send you a text message and ask you to verify it that way. You can see that it went through. That took about five seconds for this message to pop up. It says you sent to SWE. Let's click on view details. So this is the price of SWE at the time I sent it. Here's the network fee, it costs about 31 cents. You can view it on Block Explorer. That's going to open up SWE Scan, which is one of the top explorers for the SWE blockchain. You can see success. If we go to Phantom Wallet, you can see that we now have two SWE in our wallet. So it's that simple. Again, the main thing to keep in mind when sending SWE from Coinbase or any other centralized exchange to your Phantom Wallet is to make sure that you copy the correct receive address in Phantom Wallet, specifically that you copy your SWE Phantom Wallet receive. Keeping in mind, like we talked about earlier, that Phantom is a multi-chain wallet. So you don't want to, for example, copy your Solana address and then try to send SWE to your Solana address or your Ethereum address, right? You have to make sure that you copy your SWE receive address. And again, you can get it this way by hovering over your username, going to SWE and copying here. But I recommend actually clicking on SWE, clicking on receive, make sure you're on receive SWE and copying it this way. The other thing I recommend is that on your first send, when pulling SWE off of Coinbase or any exchange, I recommend the first time you do it, just send a small amount as a test to make sure you have the process down and then scale up from there. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, please leave a like and consider subscribing for more crypto tutorials. See you in the next one.